Well, the zoo is fun for families, right? But it's also meant to be educational. And a lot of kids here don't realize how endangered animals are throughout the world and the violence that happens. And uh, this statue today depicting these brave rangers uh, in Rwanda and Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, more than 160 of these men have been killed protecting these gorillas uh, since the late 1990s. And so uh, to have a, a benefactor like Howard G. Buffett uh, in our community, but also to learn about his world travels and what his foundation has helped to support really connects to cater to the rest of the world. So when people come here for this unique animal experience, they can learn about a bigger, bigger world around them and, and conservation efforts, which, you know, an accredited zoo is, is behind and supports causes like this as well as the foundation. So it's a great educational opportunity. It kind of ties into our overall conservation theme that we have here at the zoo. It's part of our mission statement that we want to be uh, thinking globally about these animals that we have here in our zoo and, and we kind of work with people to think more about what they can do even in their backyards to actually affect the, the global outcome. So we have the one planet we, we live on and we all got to work together to save the animals that are on it and, and I think this statue just kind of helps draw that part of the world into ours. He's worked side by side with these men and, and trying to protect this, you know, gorillas in these areas and they've, they've given the foundation, he's traveled the world and worked in animal conservation not only that with his beautiful photography which you can see here at the zoo. So uh, to have this resource as, as to get kids interested in, and, and fascinated about the great big planet around them and, and things that are continents away, it, it's a great, great chance for this community to learn and, and to enjoy finding out about his travels and what he's done around the world to, to help people and animals. Uh, I think it's real nice. I mean, uh, Howard is a great guy and, and just with his being able to go globally and with the things that he does helping humanity and helping the animals, helping cheetahs and helping gorillas and, and uh, just what he does globally is just an awesome thing but I think we, what we need to do is kind of bring that down to kind of the Decatur level here and say and you can recycle you can do a rain garden in your backyard you can help save water conservation you can do uh, the the can recycling and there are things that we can do even in our own backyards and I think that is the important part that people think well I, I can't do that in Africa but but you can do it at home and, and that's what we want people to know. We actually put it in over the winter months and no one knew it was here and the zoo opens tomorrow so we wanted to make sure we, we educate everybody when they see this this weekend at the zoo opens that they know what it really depicts and what it means. And collectively zoos are spending nearly $200 million a year helping animals outside of our walls, outside of our uh, area, including Scoville Zoo. We're helping cheetah conservation efforts in, in Africa and the Red Panda, International Red Panda Foundation in uh, Asia and so I, having a statue like this to kind of help tie global issues here in Decatur, Illinois is a very good thing. This is a $150,000 bronze statue, you know, I mean, not many people can afford a 150,000 piece of art that also honors these brave rangers and these gorillas, uh, but to put it in the zoo and to keep connecting this public art uh, throughout Decatur and, and with the new addition to the Children's Museum, you know, under construction and opening July and the new train, uh, this great fantastic park is a lot of new additions and a lot of great new things for families to enjoy.